हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ईसी एकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand analysis of discrete time systems. So, here we'll analyze the discrete time system by considering the LTI representation, which means we'll analyze the linear time invariant system. So, if we say LTI system, here the system will have the property of linearity as well as time invariance. That's why. this system is known as linear time invariant system this lti systems can be characterized by taking the response to a unit sample sequence so if we say unit sample sequence which is nothing but the impulse sequence or impulse function so we'll take the impulse sequence or unit sample sequence as input and then we'll characterize the linear time invariant system which will be in discrete form here the input signal is decomposed into weighted sum of elementary signals the lti system decomposes the input signal into the weighted sum of elementary signals which means it expresses the input signal as a linear combination of impulse sequence and it analyzes the system response so this decomposition of input signal will provide the linearity and time invariance properties of the system so here we are considering the linear time invariant system with the response h of n so h of n is the response of the lti system specifically if we take the input as impulse sequence this response is known as impulse response so the output of the system y of n can be given as x of n star h of n so here star represents the convolution since it is a discrete time system the type of convolution is known as convolution sum for an analog signal we will take the convolution integral for a discrete time system we will take the convolution as convolution sum therefore we can say output is equal to h of n convoluted with x of n x of n is the input sequence h of n is the impulse response if the input is the impulse function there are two techniques to analyze the lti system first one is a direct solution of difference equation so this is the first technique where output of lti system is represented as minus summation of k is equal to 1 to n a k y of n minus k plus summation of k is equal to 0 to m b k x of n minus k so wherever we have represented as k so this represents the index variable so this index variable is ranging between two values as you can see for this summation this index value is varying from 1 to n and for this summation the index value is varying from 0 to m so to represent the summation range we are taking some index variable in this equation we have represented a negative sign because y of n is the part of output which means this term will be towards left hand side so if we shift that term from left hand side towards right hand side we'll write that as negative sign so this equation represents the differential equation of discrete time lti system and it describes the relation between the input x of n and the output y of n of the system here y of n is the current output of the system y of n minus k represents the past value of the output and the value of k will represents the delay and x of n is the input sequence here x of n minus k is the current and past value of the input 
here a k and b k are the constant coefficients that represents the system behavior here a k and b k are constant which are independent of x of n and y of n so in this sequence this first term represents the feedback part or feedback term and the second part of this sequence represents the forward path so this approach will solve the system directly based on this equation so directly we will get the response of the system y of n using this formula the second method is decomposition of input signal so here we will take x of n and we will decompose that signal x of n and for this decomposed value we will apply the response of the system to find the output equation so here we can represent x of n as the weighted sum of ck into xk of n so here ck represents the weighting coefficients of elementary signal xk of n to get the output sequence y of n we need to apply this as input and we need to find what is the response of the system so here output for a particular value k can be obtained by taking the response of the system for the value ck into xk of n so since ck is constant we can take ck into response of the xk of n so finally output of the system can be found by taking summation of k ck response of the system xk of n so in the first method we will directly use the formula and find the response of the system in the second method we will decompose the input signal and then we will find the response of the system now let us understand the unit sample response so unit sample response of the system can be obtained when the input is impulse sequence so here the input signal is decomposed into unit sample sequence the system output can be represented as y of n is equal to k ranging from minus infinity to infinity h of k x of n minus k so this is the formula for unit sample response of the lti system so here if the input to the sequence is impulse function then the response of the system is known as impulse response so output will be y of n is equal to summation of k is equal to minus infinity to infinity h of k x of n minus k so this is the formula for representing lti system of a discrete time sequence next we will understand the frequency domain analysis for a periodic input sequence x of n with period n can be represented in the form of complex exponential as x of n is equal to k ranging from 0 to n minus 1 c k exponential to the power of j omega k n so here omega k represents 2 pi k divided by n so here n represents the number of samples now let us understand the applications and visualization so the impulse response diagram represents the unit sample response h of n as you can observe in this diagram so graphically we can represent x of n as a sum of elementary signals so here elementary signal is the impulse signal which we have taken so the signal x of n can be represented as the sum of impulse function which is known as decomposition of the signal so here we can visualize convolution as overlapping and summing shifting impulse responses so as you can see here we are having the overlapping summing and shifting impulse that will give the response of the system here you need to remember some important points where the lta system can process signal efficiently using their linearity and time invariance properties so lti system will process the signal effectively 
using linearity and time invariance property. The different method like time domain and frequency domain are used based on the type of input signal. So based on the input signal, we'll use the time domain and frequency domain to analyze the LTA system. This is about analysis of discrete time system. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.